Joining us right now for more on what we can expect from the next stimulus bill, Senator Shelley Moore is joining us. Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia. Senator, good morning to you. Uh, what do you think that this should look like? How much money uh, should we be spending? And, and what, what should the program, um, what should the contours of the program actually be? Well, I think we've got to look at a couple things. Uh, I think we still have issues with our small businesses. Uh, we still have many that cannot reopen or cannot open fully. So I think we'll probably look at the PPP and maybe try to tailor it uh, more to the remaining businesses that have yet to be able to reopen or be able to uh, bring bring as many people back as they as they need to to have a full economy. The other thing is individual assistance. We know that the uh, enhanced unemployment runs out at the end of the month. Uh, that is a source of concern for many of us, but on two fronts. One, uh, it's, a, it's a source of concern of those who are still unemployed, but also trying to get people back to work. So we're going to try to um, weave something there where uh, we can get people back to work, but also help those that still can't go back. And then I think we're going to look at the issue of the flexibility on the state and local. For my state of West Virginia, my governor's received $1.25 billion. He needs to have the flexibility to say to his city, to our cities and counties, that you could use that to replace lost tax revenues. That's going to be an important part of this as well. We need the liability reform piece. And I think we're going to have a ceiling on how high we're going to go here because we can't just keep throwing trillions and trillions here. We need to be um, very uh, targeted in our relief. Senator, when you talk about the PPP program, though, yes. you know, there are a lot of businesses that really can't go back to business, restaurants and the like that either don't have outdoor space, they're going to move into the fall, into the winter, where if they do have outdoor space, it's not going to work later. There's lots of businesses where just the math is just not going to add up. And my question to you is, is the PPP meant to, to help those businesses? What businesses don't you think uh, have either access to it now and need it? Well, I think by and large, the smaller businesses are the ones that are still, as you're mentioning, restaurants, uh, smaller, maybe gyms and uh, things of that nature, where you're you're not going back full bore. You can't have a full uh, can't have a full house of customers, and I think that's an issue. So I think we've got to figure out some way to uh, to keep those folks um, connected to their employee employee, like we uh, originally envisioned with the PPP. But we also want to uh, want to make sure that they are still going to be able to open their doors. I mean, we're seeing businesses close. Well, that's but, a source of but concern. Senator, that's, yes. Senator, that's that's the question. There are businesses. You, you mentioned gyms. Right. I could make an argument to you that gyms for the next 12 months are going to struggle mightily. That it, until you get to a vaccine or some real therapeutic, the chance that you could ever ever fill gyms up the way you used to, it just it, the business model unto itself doesn't work. And so the question that. is, should the, government be support, should the government be supporting a business like that that may not actually have a business on the other side or may have to actually have a very different type of business in the future? Well, I think that that's something that we need to look at. But at the same time, we're looking at large employers across this country. Uh, I was talking to somebody last night who owns not just wellness centers, but also physical therapy centers. They can't go back full yet either because of the restrictions uh, uh, on distancing. So I think those are the ones that maybe is either a second round if they've had a first one. I mean, I'm just thinking here now a second round that's more targeted yeah. or, or or something of that nature where we can gradually work these folks back to full employment. 